What's up, guys? Right there. My name's Joe Liptock. My name's Dan Keener, and this is week three of Auto-Tune. That's right. And this week, we are going to take our Auto-Tune powers beyond the walls of Wilson High School and show you how you can change your life and then ultimately the world. The world, that's, that's right, Joe. Yeah. So we're gonna go right ahead and show you our powers of, of Auto-Tune. All right. To the back cave. Okay, boys and girls, we are going to continue today with our book reports. Trevor, would you mind presenting your report? For my book report project, I did um, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And to open up my presentation, I was going to read some of the book to you. We've got Quidditch trials this morning, said Ron. And we're supposed to be practicing that Aguamenti charm from Flitwick. Anyway, explain what? How are we going to tell him we hated that stupid subject? We didn't hate it, said Hermione. Speak for yourself. I haven't forgotten the scroots, said Ron darkly. And I'm telling you now, we've had a narrow escape. You didn't hear him going about the... Yes, Daniel. Um... Joe had something to say. Yes, Joseph? Dude, do you have the glasses? Oh, yeah, yeah. Shh. Here, this might make it a little more interesting. You see, Trevor, when you read in Harry Potter, Come in. James Gordet? Oh, hi, Mr. Smith. Yes, you, you can call me Ted. Call oh, me. okay, thanks, Mr. Right, Smith. Yeah, how are you doing? I, I'm, I'm great. I'm, I'm great. It's great. Take to, a seat. Take great, a seat. To, okay. Let's. Uh, okay. Don't, don't be nervous. Hi. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, I'm not nervous at all. I'm just uh, looking over your file here, <clears throat> James, <sighs> and I gotta say, we don't do this often. Um, but uh, you're fired. But you're, you're fired, Mr. Smith. You you didn't even hire me yet. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Where am I, man? <laughs> Congratulations, you got the job. Really? Yeah. You start next week. Next Monday, we'll have your office. Grab some utensils. You're fired. <laughs> Uh, come in. James Cordette? Yo, what up, Mr. Smith? How you doing? Hey, call me, call me Ted. Call me Ted, James. All right, I will call you Ted, Mr. Smith, or whatever you prefer. Because I really want this job, and I think I am the best one for it. Wow. Wow. Well, 
on, we have a seat. We just need to go over your- I don't even need to sit down. This isn't a job interview. This is you telling me I got the job. Well, I'll tell you what, James. This job's for a music career as a professional singer. That's right, because I got my powers off. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today in honor of the marriage between Peter and between Kathy. Peter, do you take Kathy to be your beloved wife, to hold, to cherish the rest of your days? I do. And Kathy, do you take Peter to be your husband? Hold him to love forever for the rest of your days. I can't do this! <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in honor of the marriage between Peter and between Kathy. Well, that just about wraps up this week's episode of VAMP. Again, I'm Jack Goodwill, and I've had a great time serving as your guest host for this week. I'd also like to thank everybody who contributed to this week's episode. Be sure to join us in two weeks' time for when we air VAMP Season 2, Episode 4. I'm Jack Goodwill. I'll see you next time. <laughs>